to One Left Gym. I just took off the trim rings on our 2023 Bronco Outer Banks with the Sasquatch upgraded wheels so I could bring them in for powder coating. That project will be in a future video, by the way. It's what I just noticed while taking the rings off that I wanted to share. I started with the spare tire, as you can see here. No issues to report, and this is what it looked like when the ring came off. And this is what the first wheel on the ground looked like after I removed the trim ring. Notice the difference? It's silver around the edge. I took off the next ring, and it was also silver. So I thought, that's weird that the spare tire would use a different rim, but I guess Ford had its reasons. I took the next one off, and it was also silver. But I bet you can guess where this is going now, right? Yep, the last frickin' rim was all black like the spare. So much for thinking the spare was unique in some way. So, let's recap. Out of five wheels, we have three with a silver edge and two with a black edge. I checked out the Bronco online forums, and I guess this is a known issue, but nobody knows why this happens. I went to my local Ford dealer and asked a few people there, and I swear they all looked at me like I had two heads. Nobody there had a clue. Shocking, I know. But like, if there were different wheel lots, or they switched suppliers, you'd think only one Bronco they would have ended up with a mismatched set, right? To find out that it's happened to others? That's weird. Are there two buckets of wheels to pick from, and they're flipping a coin when they have to grab one while they're putting this together? I know this is probably not a big thing, but I think it's really odd. I mean, you pay a lot of money for these vehicles, and this isn't something you'd expect to see. It's just one more thing that shakes your confidence in the entire build process. If you have any information about this issue, or have seen it on your own Bronco, can you let me know in the comments below? Otherwise, I hope you at least found this Bronco anomaly interesting, and I'll see you later.